Hello, you all. All right, I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker, celebrating Black History Month. Yes, I love celebrating Black History Month. But I also like how Kanye calls it Black Future Month. That's what you call it. <laughs> or um, just basically celebrating Black people. But, you know, because it's not always just about the history, but it's also about like what we are doing now type thing you know um so i love that um what does it mean to me um you know well i feel like i'm constantly learning about black people all the time you know i don't let it just stay within the black history month um i feel like black history month is a good time to um discuss issues um, since everyone's talking about <laughs> black people that month, <laughs> you know, to discuss issues that maybe we as black people need to continue to explore, improve on, um, like black on black racism, <laughs> um, you know, different things like that where you have black people that don't like other black people, you know, uh, either because uh, they feel like it's an income thing, you know, they feel like they make more money than you and so they are better than you and uh, whatever, or, or, I don't know, it, it amazes me how black people are racist. <laughs> oh, but I pointed out quick, oh yes, I will be somewhere in a black person trying to look at me crazy and do something that I'd be white people around. Now, but you know, and the white person ended up helping you and the black people just look at you like you not. <laughs> and I just use that example, see, you know, see white people, it's not just you. <laughs> are racist against blacks which we know not all white people are racist against black but there's a lot of black people it's also racist against their own color you know and sometimes as books and studies will show um, a lot of black people some some black people don't like themselves so then they don't like other black people they prefer to be around them now again you can be around whoever you want to because y'all see me I'm around everybody I love everybody you know what I'm saying but I'm not going to put another race above my own race and pretty much i'm just loving everybody same regardless of what race you are you know what i'm saying so, anyway but again celebrating black history month um so it's still like covid out here you know in a sense you know we're, we're sort of wrapping it up where now we're starting to hear the ende endemic is that the word they're using now the endemic yeah so we still have to be careful and stuff but you know we are able to get out more and and do some different stuff so that's awesome you know um but yeah i mean I, I love black history month i love all the different events that go on um i try to attend as many events as i can and and learn and i usually always feel pumped up you know and motivated um usually this month they're always having some type of black hair type of event you know to talk about our black natural hair and different things that you know we do and celebrating who we are as a culture and different things like that so I love that talk um like I said but I am you know just all year you know what I'm saying um black <laughs> especially all year black woman <laughs> you know and all year every day gotta deal with racism as a black woman you know so uh, and y'all know I'm one that tends to talk about them you know because I'm like we have to you know everybody has their issue that you know they're on that they tend to talk about more you know um and i really feel like mine is really led to point out a lot of what black women have to go through you know um and even in the midst of pointing out and then also talk you know talking about how to deal with it you know so again you're gathering information of if someone is doing racism stuff against you, you know just in case you want to sue you know type thing and then the key thing too, y'all know I'm a Christian, so the key thing is just love, you know. You love and you ignore those that wanna act ignorant, you know, but we know that we are beautiful, you know. Black women, we're beautiful, we're smart, we're intelligent, we're just awesome, you know. And so even though sometimes we have to encounter people that look at us like we're the scum of the earth, <laughs> we know we're not the scum of the earth. <laughs> we are beautiful, we are the most beautiful things in this earth. What's up, hey, what's up, what's up? Anyway, yeah, I like to act silly, but um, so yeah, celebrating Black History Month. I just, I love it. I love it. Um, I love celebrating Black History Month, and you, you know, usually it starts with Martin Luther King's birthday. And I know even growing up in my little town, shouts out Decatur, Illinois. What's up? Um, where we would do the parade, where um, the Martin Luther King parade. So, um, and this would be on Martin Luther King, right, on um, Martin Luther King Street. And so, on the north side, they would gather at one school, and then on the south side, 
Let's see, we gathered at Park, well, Park School, because yeah, it was both there. It was a parking school there. And then on the south side, we would gather at a parking school. And then we would meet in the middle, in a sense, downtown Decatur um, at the church right by Decatur Civic Center, St. Patrick's Church, you know, then have a, like a program and, and different things like that, you know. And I remember um, even from college um, doing the speeches, you know, um, and I usually always played Harriet Tubman. I loved her. Harriet Tubman. I'm telling you, Harriet Tubman is my person, you know. Um, and shouts out to you, Kanye. I know I was reading something today. <laughs> Because Kanye, you know I love you. And it was your, li your list of beefs, Kanye. And I seen something about it. I was like, what did Harriet Tubman do to you, Kanye? But anyway, um, <laughs> what did Harriet Tubman do? But anyway, I love Harriet Tubman. And my thing on Harriet Tubman is because she freed the people. You know what I'm saying? She freed the people. And I remember between the movie or just reading about her, how even at times she had to take a gun. To encourage people, let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because, you know, some people, they were scared. It was like, well, master feed us and master. <laughs> sort of like how people do today. Well, you know, at least, you know, this nine to five is feed me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, um, but then master's also doing this to you, beating you, sleeping, raping you, and all that other damn. But anyway, <laughs> you know, so sometimes here, tell me to get the gun and be like, let's go. <laughs> She was telling them, let's go, let's go freedom, you know, because they'd be scared and try to turn around. And the point of is if they turned around, then that would end up showing the people who were chasing them and trying to get them the pathway that Harriet took. So she's like, she got to protect all the rest of the people and also protect her underground railroad, which is not a real railroad job. I was like, the railroad, where's the railroad at? <laughs> There's no tracks. <laughs> It's a path. But anyway, um... Yeah, I'm a comedian, personality, and then silly all at the same time. I'm your girl, Michelle Walker. But anyway, so um, I love that. You know how, how she made sure that, you know, she, um, you know, kept it going. And, and not only did she make one trip, she made a, Harriet Tubman made a lot of trips, you know. And shouts out to Canada because Canada had black people free and I can't shout out to you Canada you know black folks still go up to Canada for freedom <laughs> freedom in Canada but anyway um so you know she kept going back to free people and kept going back to free people you know what I'm saying you know and y'all know after a while you be like you know how some people are be like oh well, I made it I made it I'm free <laughs> and people don't be wanting to go back and free nobody else but you know It's like now, you know, you make it up the corporate ladder, you know. Okay, boo, God bless you to be there. So now you need to mentor at least one other person to help get them up there, you know. But some people just get up there and they all be like, no, I made it. That's it. That's it. I ain't having nobody. I made it. <laughs> Which I, I, I'm believing that God will put in your spirit to help at least one person. You know, I'm always that reach one, teach one. <laughs> Because I just remember in the movement, I remember growing up from grade school to college, we always had leaders that always like, if you don't do nothing but just one, can you just do one? Help one. <laughs> you know how they be having the little dog commercials, you know, and say, you know, help this pet, help, you know, I be like they need to do homeless people in a sense like that. We need to do commercials where we say, this is Harry. And this is Harry's story, and we need you all to adopt Harry. You know what I'm saying? Adopt a homeless person. You know what I'm saying? And when I say adopt, even if you don't move them in, what you do somewhere every day, you go and do something for them. You know what I'm saying? Go and do something, you know. So I will tell y'all that. In this Black History Month, pick a homeless person and go and do something for them every day. Once a week. I don't know. Just at least help one, you know. Stop giving this scenario because you know it's not always the way it seems, you know. And unfortunately, some people don't see that until they become homeless and then they realize, oh, it is easy to become homeless. <laughs> it's not about that you ain't working, you know. I never forget how Jesse Jackson talked about, you know what, poor people work every day. So it's not about that poor people are not working, it's really about the pay on how much they get paid for why they're still poor. Which is why I'm so glad, because this was like an old video years ago. So that's why I'm so glad that they're increasing the pay. Now the only thing is, is they're increasing the pay, then the prices go up on other stuff. And so then it always starts to balance out again, you know. But, um, 
But yeah, so again, I love celebrating Black History Month. That's basically what this video is about. So yes, you know, and then um, my church. Oh my God, I love my church. Church home. Shout out Judah Smith Church Home. That's my church. That's what's up. Shout out. As my pastor talked about again on this Wednesday, he let him know black history is all of our history. Don't play. Black history is not just black people history. It's all of our history. We've been learning everybody history all growing up. Don't act like when it comes to black history. Oh, that's y'all. No, 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 no. That's all of our history. All of our history. You know, get the black history. Talk about that's your history. No, that's all of our history. Thank you, pastor. Thank you, pastor. Judas Smith. But yeah, and I love how my church, um, we've always done that. And I've been, our, oh my God, I've been in our church almost 10 years. I've been in our church for a long time, years. And he always celebrates black. And I have to say, and my my pastor is, I don't know why to tell you, I don't know what he, but, but you know, and I only point that out, because I only copy in the color, but I only point that out to say, out of all the churches I've been to, and I've been to predominantly black churches, I've been to, you know, mixed churches, you know, because to me, as long as it's the word of God, and God called me to be there, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? But out of all my churches, this is one of the key churches that do not play about Black History Month. I mean, every Wednesday, Sunday in Black History Month, our pastor got Black History or something on there. He got some performance. He got some something. Every church time, even you go to the website, you're going to see some Black History stuff. <laughs> I'm like, that's it. I love it. I love it. You know? Um, and we celebrate other different, you know, cultures and stuff like that. So I like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that's good, you know, for us to learn about each other. And then black people, don't be afraid to learn about yourself. You know, you got to watch that. Because I'm, well, I don't get caught up in black. Why, why you don't get caught up in black history, man? You black? <laughs> I think sometimes these are the ones that the black people that like to discriminate against other black people. You know, I'm just saying they're black on black racism. <laughs> these are the blacks that don't like to claim they black. <laughs> they don't like to... They, I don't know what they think they are. Now, now, when the police stop them and they need everybody help the march and stuff, they realize they black. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But, um, so these folks, you know, they saved and, well, I don't like to just point out, you know what? I'm saved and God loves us all. But there is nothing wrong with celebrating your culture because actually the more you love yourself, and know where you came from and know you then the more you can love other people you know what I'm saying because you know you <laughs> so we all always got to pray for these people that's running from who they are but again celebrating black history mom y'all see I got my little hey that's what's up y'all what's up I got this in New York too Woo, Manhattan area New York what's up New York representing hey um, so yeah, I mean, I love it. Also here in LA today. Oh, let me date this video. I was gonna remember to date my videos. So today is uh, February nineteenth. Yes, February nineteenth, twenty twenty-two, and they're having actually the uh, HBCU Historical Black College and University, right? Uh huh. Um, down at the Los Angeles Convention Center, they're having that. You know. Um, yeah, um, down there where they have all that on display. So I think that's awesome. Um, yeah, I just throughout my, I've always celebrated Black History Month. Um, and raising my kids, as y'all know, I have four beautiful grown kids. I have um, let's see, four beautiful grandkids. And I have a grand dog. Yes, I got a black grand dog. Yay. And um, Bailey. That's my black grand dog name. And um, so, yeah, you know, um, I always read books to my kids. You know, I always believed in the teaching at home. Now, a lot of you all, you know me that I've, I taught school, you know, through substitute teaching, through being a teacher assistant. Um, then I've been in the Boys and Girls Cup movement where I've been um, in Atlanta. So I was over 26 clubs as a program. Um, Management in the sense of just helping to deliver the clubs, the different programs coming in. Um, a lot of times we get tickets to events, and so I would distribute them to the club to take the kids to give them opportunity to experience different arts and cultures and sports and different types of events and different things like that. Um, and um, 
So anyway, but I always believe too in the thing of teaching at home, you know, so I always taught my kids at home as well um, about black history, about all kind of different stuff, you know, because I was like, you know, um, I want my kids to know. So there's things that I want to make sure that my kids know that the school may never teach them, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to teach them as a parent, you know. So I remember I had got the book, All Hair is Good. I remember that book. <laughs> you know, because sometimes people say, well, the straight hair is good hair, and the, this hair is not good. No, no, no. All hair, all black hair is beautiful hair. <laughs> you know, I remember that book. I used to always read to the kids. Um, we used to always go do the Hosea, Feed the Hunger. Now, again, that's more, but we're talking about black history, right? And um, so that was more around Thanksgiving in Atlanta. But then also, I got blessed to drive Hosea around. <laughs> Woo, Hosea, we, who bless his heart, was he a character? I loved Hosea. Hosea had me running around. We was collecting money for the Thanksgiving. <laughs> Woo, Hosea had me running around. Shouts out to Hosea, though. He, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was cool for his sister. But, um, so he's a part of history, of course. You know, Hosea Williams was with Martin Luther King and different things like that. I was around so many historical people living in Atlanta. Um, you know, um, SCLC. Um, my daughter uh, did the enactment of the time when they went across. They went over to the uh, Selma, the bridge over there, and they they did that part. Um, my daughter's part of the youth program. Went to the Martin Luther King per, um, Church and used to see Coretta Scott King a lot at church. Um, and Bernice, I uh, remember um, one of the celebrations where Bernice had her song out, her rapping song out, and that was awesome. Um, right, Bernice, we used to do a rap together, Bernice. See, Bernice, they could have had you on the Super Bowl halftime stage. You have to watch another video on that where I talk about how Dre and them act like they couldn't find that one female rapper. <laughs> that's, that's black history, too, you know, because that's how they build it, you know. Dreamed about, you know, hip hop and the culture and the black, you know, and having it in the month of February. That's why I was so much on right. So why didn't you have a black female rapper on the stage? But that's another video. But anyway, <laughs> but I can say, so celebrating black history, celebrating black people. <laughs> so that's been um, where I've also been talking about taking this time to talk about the female rappers and how things need to get better for female rappers and because this is ridiculous <laughs> that sometimes we still dealing with the same issues and same things that we have dealt with you know what I'm saying throughout the years um, you know um, rappers should not still have to sleep with folks and, and, and you know, do some other things to folks to get deals or to get on stage. So celebrating black history, especially then when you see it's our people doing it to our people. Come on now. We need our black men to support us. That needs to be renewed <laughs> in celebrating black people in this month of February 2022. Um, but yes, I love celebrating Black History Month. I love all the different aspects. I love being black. Um, yeah, you know, and so I feel like I do my part to um, make sure, you know, at least those people who I feel got put in my spirit to cheer on and um, then issues that I feel like I need to talk about, you know, because the power of the tongue, even in the Bible we'll talk about that, the power of the tongue, the the power of words through encouraging people or through just pointing issues out. Like I said, Proverbs 31, verses 8 and 9. You know, it talks about open your mouth to stand up for the poor. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there's nothing wrong with. So don't let nobody tell you that there's something wrong with speaking up on issues. You know, sometimes when you're speaking up on an issue, if someone does not like that you're speaking up on or whatever, you know, they try to belittle you or, you know, try to make you look bad because they don't want you saying what you're saying. We sometimes be so amazing to me because in our culture, certain people can say certain things. Everybody be like, yeah, woo, Oprah just said, 
And then somebody else could say something, they'd be like, well, why did they say that? I've been thinking that's unfair because all of us are important and valuable. So what is the difference if what they're saying is true and is a valid point? So, um, but I love celebrating black history and black people. I just say black because it's not just a history. I celebrate black people right now. My Holly Mitchell, my LA, Los Angeles County supervisor, feel so blessed to have her, I'm in her district, to be in LA, Holly Mitchell's district. I mean, I feel blessed. You know what I'm saying? She's the one that actually did the crown act about the hair. You know, because literally some people were getting fired because of how they wore their hair. Our natural hair, can you imagine that? You getting fired for a job from a job because of your natural hair pattern. <laughs> you know. And I remember I recently was watching something, I heard somebody talking about that people want you to look like or act like what they feel comfortable with. Mm, oh, it was the football. So the NFL, right? One of the Black people were, sp were speaking because, you know, Brian Flores and others have been suing the NFL for racism because they claim they couldn't find another black. So just like Drayden, them couldn't find not one female rapper. And this NFL did have, does have one black. <laughs> Drayden, them couldn't find not one black female rapper out of all these rappers charting on the billboard. Oh, okay. But anyway. Um, so uh, I remember one of the people talking about um, that, you know, com people's comfort level. You know, so I guess they were talking about, you know, white people or other races. They were talking about the NFL pretty much is made up of uh, white people and families. You know, they're all pretty much family, you know, and they tend to, you know, uh, hire and, and connect with who they all feel comfortable with. So they were saying having, they were suggesting having outings, you know with black people you know have the uh, the races the white races having the having outings with black <laughs> so that they can feel you know what but y'all as i'm sitting here thinking you're like in 2022 we're still talking about stuff like this we're still talking about that we got to do some outings so the white people can feel comfortable with black people mm, some don't seem right about that conversation but okay you know you got to do what you got to do to help them feel comfortable anyway so going back to the hair so it used to be a time that they only want your hair straight you know what I'm saying? You know, matter of fact, I remember I was in, I was at UCLA and I was just looking at, you know, I was looking at the, the critical race law part over at UCLA for law school. And um, so I'm sitting in the class and I'm telling you, if this man didn't get racist with me, oh, well, you know, so they were talking about the foundation of folks and I just happened to mention, but I remember you got to watch, I guess, where you mentioned stuff. So I guess he was trying to take a shot back at me because they were talking about the originality of people and different things like that. and. So I think they're talking about the Indian society. I just I think I mentioned again about how all people pretty much, you know, came from Africa. I mean, I don't think it was called Africa at the time. It's called something, but we all, you know, because even in the Bible, talk about the wool hair and the, you know, so it wasn't straight hair. <laughs> type of thing. And I didn't go deep on. It. I think I just mentioned it, you know, lightly, you know. Um, and so then he went into a conversation on hair and I'm like you know so y'all see I have my natural hair and he just happened to mention you know they you know tend to feel like you know those that didn't have their hair straight mustn't have the money to put so I'm looking at I'm like oh okay I got you and he supposed to be a professor over at Southwestern Law School which actually is down the street but I'm like oh, okay okay like I need to get his name to report him because <laughs> he was trying to take a shot back at me I guess you know because a lot of people don't want to accept <laughs> this truth that pretty much we all came from America, you know what I'm saying? So we all, they don't like that theory, you know? But if I'm not mistaken, it's not a theory, it's the truth. <laughs> and that's where Whoopi got in trouble, that's where Nick Cannon got, but I don't understand why these people are getting in trouble when they're speaking the truth. You know, because I'm not mistaken, it is about that we were the, we're the color, that's the color of the folks, but people don't like that part. Which actually then to me shows their racism. Why they're trying to call out Boopy and Nick and other folks. They're they, they not realizing they call them out on that. That is showing their racism. The racism that they don't want to accept. That there are black Jews. That there are black. That a lot of stuff came from the. You know, but you know, so I just like, okay, well. <laughs> 
You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to keep a job. So I'm like, oh, Nick and Booby, do what y'all gotta do. You know, I ain't got the money to take care of you. So y'all do gotta do what y'all gotta do. Oh, okay, y'all. I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. So I'm just talking about celebrating black history and just adding little stuff over here. Y'all know I'm a comedian personality. Rapper, just trying to encourage and help you all speak truth and just, you know, just because y'all, we just got to have fun. The key thing, though, is love. Okay, so in Black History Month, love people. Okay, that's the key thing you want to do. And let's start out with loving your black people. Okay, black people love other black people. <laughs> you know, I'm just keeping it all in the family, you know. Because sometimes we be on trying to get other folks to love, you know. Cheers, mm, right. But do you know they're watching you mistreat? <laughs> And I wouldn't be surprised if something turned around like you trying to tell me to treat them right, but I'm watching you dog them out every day and you the same color as them. Mm -mm. That's when you're in the church like with the fan line. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I think the key thing for us is to love each other. You know, so it's not about how much money you have. It's not about, you know, because black people say, well, that person get or that person this and that. Which, why, why would you call somebody? A person has the right to act however they want to. They do not have to. You don't control everybody. Nobody talking about your little bougie butt how you act. <laughs> so let people be people. And the key thing is just respecting and loving people. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, the agape love, the God love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, y'all. So celebrating Black History Month. So y'all just keep celebrating Black History Month. I love it. And really, I celebrate blacks every day. It doesn't take a month for me to feel like I'm going to celebrate black people for a month. I celebrate myself, <laughs> black people every day. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, support black businesses. Um, support black female rappers. Yeah, I'm just really on that subject. Y'all, it just dawned on me that they didn't have not one black female at the halftime Super Bowl show and so I'll probably be talking about that too. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm your girl Michelle Bark. So the key thing is God. Y'all know I'm Christian. I believe in God in the name of Jesus. God and just loving all people. That, that's my key thing. If you could just stick with the loving all people then black people you will love other black people too. <laughs> I, yeah, that always gets me though on how black people can love everybody else but they other own people. Sometimes I can go everywhere else. <laughs> and everybody can be kind. Sometimes, you know, there's that one black person. That'd be the main black security. <laughs> the, black, the main black person that's suspicious of you. Because you're there. Like, they can only be the other black person there. And they can't be. <laughs> you'd be like, dude. <laughs> really? <laughs> you know that these white girls do everything. <laughs> I'm the only black girl here. And you are watching me like a hawk. And I'm not trying to do nothing wrong. Because <laughs> that's what happened with black women. They just all of a sudden get suspicious of us. Like, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> like, I'm not doing nothing. Not nothing wrong. I'm just living. Regularly doing what people do. <laughs> oh, so hard out here for black women. Yes, it is. That's my whole comedy biz. Hard out here for a black woman. Yes, it is. But anyway. So celebrating Black History, I'm your girl Michelle Hope Walker. You can follow me on Twitter at Hope underscore Speaks, um, Instagram Michelle Hope Walker Speaks, Facebook Michelle Hope Walker Speaks. Period. Listen, YouTube Michelle Hope Walker Speaks. So you all be blessed. Continue to enjoy your Black History Month. Continue to enjoy it. Um, love folks. Treat people right. <laughs> It's sad you just got to remind people to do that. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm your girl, Michelle Hope Walker. Be blessed.